يا طالب العلم يا طالب العلم قم لتنم فإن الزمان انقضى وانصرم فكن ما حييت ضنينا به فظنك بالوقت عين الكرم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I pray you all everyone and in good health Right now we're inside one of the dorms inside the Islamic University of Medina So where a student stays as you can see this is how a typical dorm looks like inside the Islamic University of Medina so here you have a toilet and the bathroom as well and on each floor there are four toilets so it makes it easy for the student in each corner of the building to access the one that's closest to him so as I've mentioned before, there's approximately 22 buildings inside the Islamic University of Medina. So this is building 19. Now this room here is the room where the students wash their clothes. So each student, some students differ. Some students purchase their own washing machine and place it in this room. Some students come together, a group of four or five, so they can purchase the washing machine all together. That way it works out much cheaper. And then this room here is the kitchen where the students can come and cook those that wish to do so this is the kitchen now there may be some wondering doesn't the university provide these small appliances no they don't unfortunately the only thing you do receive when you come as a new student is bedding hence why I advise all those that have been accepted to the Islamic University of Medina and are waiting to come all those that wish to apply to the university to prepare beforehand and know that you will need to purchase your own items and to not have any expectations from the university inside the dorm one of the students may Allah reward him he's allowed us to view his room Bismillah So this side here is a study room where he studies. So got the cornflakes there, the laptop, mashallah, got the books, pens, pencils, highlighters. So this is where everything happens. They have an AC of course. little fridge there refreshments so this is the other side and with regards to the students sharing rooms it varies some of them are two to a room some of them are three to a room some of them are four to a room depending on the building so the newer buildings most of them are three to a room some of them two to a room depending on the size of the, of the actual room And some students are actually blessed to have a room to themselves. So this is a tour inside one of the rooms of the students studying inside Medina University. And of course, a student when he comes, how it used to work before, they used to give each student a room according to the availability of the actual building. But now things have changed and they have building number 20 and 21 and 22, the newest building where the majority of those that come from Europe and other countries, specific countries, they enable them to stay and live inside that room due to um, cultures being the same. As beforehand, they would just put any student in any building. But now, after several years of them building and finalizing the new buildings, they've actually allocated specific buildings to those that come from different countries. Just in order for students to be able to get along more, those that have things in common and are from the same backgrounds. I just thought I'll take you guys upstairs on the rooftop of building 19 so you can see the view of the Islamic University of Medina 
at night time from the rooftop. So what's in front of you there, all of that is the Islamic University of Medina. It's a bit of a student life here after Isha Salah. Some students are just doing some playing some badminton. Got some badminton game, mashallah, going on here. Got the court laid out, mashallah.